cut what? We aren't filming. This is all wrong. This isn't my vision. Was it something I did? No, no, it was fine. So you made that dying coyote noise. Yeah, and we totally saw that that was strawberry jam. I thought it was pretty convincing. I can see the seeds from here. That's it. I can't take this anymore. I need some air. There's too much stupid in one room. I want to use a heavy breather. Look, Theo, I know your art is being threatened by our insanely low budget, but you can't blow up at people like that. I'm sorry, Hannah, but your acting wasn't helping. Maybe we all have stuff to work on. I don't have anything to work on. It's all this that needs work. Look, we all took time out of our day to help you with this. You're the director, so direct. We but humble mortals don't know where to go if you don't lead us. Okay, I get it. I was a bit of a jackass back there. But we need to redo that. I'm not putting that garbage in my art. We can film that scene again. Not now, but we have plenty of time. The festival isn't for another... Two weeks? Oh. Theo, we need to stick together, work together, or else your pretty little project will crumble to the ground. Hannah, I am the only one pulling this freak show bandwagon. You know, we need to drop some dead weight. Some people around here are only here to bring coffee. Coffee? No, no joke. Oh, hi. Um, It's Katie, and I brought scones. There you go. Thanks, Katie. You know, we should also watch the budget. The spending's getting out of control. I'll talk to John tonight. Well, maybe we should start with not ordering a $7 half-calf, no-whip, caramel cappuccino with double shots of espresso. Seven dollars? Hey, John. Never be the first to say something in a negotiation. What does that mean? You'll find out. Um, okay. Listen, we need more money for the movie. Theo. Theo! 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 The to the O. To the door. Theo, look, I can't be your fallback guy already. I had a very strict budget plan laid out for you guys, and you've already gone over. We need to reshoot one of the scenes. Your budget only lost a very expendable ingredient of a peanut butter sandwich and a paper mache monster head. Don't blame me. Blame the economy. This isn't Hollywood, big shot. If you want money, start a GoFundMe page or campaign door to door. But no one's gonna fund a bunch of greasy college kids mooching off the kindness of strangers. Don't question me. Just do it. Now, leave. I'm in the middle of my stupid. It's riveting. How far in are you? I'll make up the difference if you're really strapped, but that's not my problem right now. Now leave. You're distracting my chi. What's chi? It's Chinese for energy force, you uncultured swine. Go. But chi! All right, this next scene should be pretty quick. There's not a lot of dialogue. Not a lot of dialogue? 17 pages for this. But whatevs. Cool, that's cool, that's cool. Great! Glad we're on the same page, Stephanie. It's uh, Michelle. Okay, Kelly. Austin, you ready? Ready when you guys are, but you know, I'm not really feeling the flow of these lines. They lack, how do you say, motivation. What's with the subtle, unknown, West European undertone you got going there? You're from Jersey. I spent a week abroad in Prague. We know! Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna spice things up a little bit. Uh, cue the lights, start rolling. I'm just gonna live it in the moment. What light? Wait, where's Tommy? Probably taking his early morning medicine. Action! There's a monster out there, Rob, and the less we do about it, the more people are gonna get picked off. Come on, Martha. I'm serious! You know what? Just stop it. So what if we found pictures of squids in Dr. Bernstein's office? So what if a few people went missing? People go missing every day. They turn out just fine. You know what your problem is? You can't handle the truth! 
Cut. Cut. Um, Austin? That was from A Few Good Men, starring the immortal Jack Nicholson. We can't use that. I don't know that reference. That definitely wasn't in the script. And he definitely didn't pull out of his ass. Okay, sorry guys. I guess I, uh, didn't really understand the full force of the creative juices flowing up in here. So, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna stick to what Miguel wrote. Michelle, it's Michelle. But close, that was close. All right, let's try this again. Quiet on set, and action! Hey guys. Cut, cut. You said we were starting at 11, right? Seven. We started at seven. Well, it rhymes. That's a win for me. Just get in your spot. Yo, what scene is this? Scene 11. Scene seven. 11. It's scene 11. That was on purpose. Just jossing with you. Are we ready now? Yep. Quiet on set. Oh, sorry. Jump the shark there. You murdered the shark! Austin! Okay, mark it. What was that? Clapping. It's what you do. Sorry. I was getting my beauty sleep. It takes a lot to look this good. Of course, Casanova. Now, we're gonna film a scene, if you're ready to join us. Who's Casanova? I'm going to kill him. Do it. You didn't hear that, Margie. Michelle. It's still Michelle. I hate to be a bother, but how can we film without our lead actress? She'll be here. But we're losing our light. It's a horror movie. We'll improvise. Hello? I'm so sorry. I, I had something come up. I had something come up out of the blue. And I'm sorry. It's fine, Hannah. We are way behind schedule. We could have actually spent this time going door to door and, you know, increasing our budget. When can you be here? It doesn't matter. This time of night wouldn't be a problem if, you know, we had the budget to get lights. I'm sorry, okay? What else do you want me to say, Sarah? Enough. Everyone. Stop whining. You're starting to sound like a bunch of millennials. All right. Bye. Grandma, don't shoot! Get up, Tommy. Okay, pull your jet steel. It's Theodore. Okay, okay, Theodore. Theodore. One D. So, Theodore? <laughs> you are so mature. I hate you. So, Andre Tarkovsky. You know Tarkovsky, right? No? Well, he's one of my all time favorite surrealist directors. Granted, John Cocteau is good too. No one frames a shot like Cocteau these days. When I first saw Tarkovsky in the mirror, I just died. I just died. The scene with the burning frog house must have been my favorite. Or maybe the candle scene from Nostalgia, which is equally as brilliant. But what about you? Do you have a favorite director? I don't put all the Tarkovsky's labels on all the movies. Child prodigies. It's too dark. You can't see anything. God, I feel like we're in the Middle Ages. Flying on the moon for light. Like savages. So what would have happened if we just started on time? She's not even here now. Where is Hannah? So irresponsible. McStoner's got a point. She royally screwed us yesterday. Why was she so late? You'd think she'd be the grown-up of this group and- Sarah! Stop talking about it! Okay. children in this film? Can we put that in? Oh, sure thing, Mickey. Awesome. I can't talk about what's going on. I'll call you later. You know it. Can I talk to you for
for a second. Oh, snap, she's in trouble. Do you even contribute here, Tommy? Yeah, I'm the classic guy with the thing. No, I meant society. Look, I want to film another night scene. Maybe a location we haven't tried before? Yeah, maybe a place we can see. It's going to be at night. Damn it. Do we have clearance for this location? Oh, yeah, we have tons of clearance. Like an abundance of clearance. Like a John Singer of clearance. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just call John and clear this clearance thing up. That's what they're doing on clearance. Hey, John. I have a question for you. Sure. I'm just pouring dog food. I didn't know you had a dog. I don't. Uh, okay. Um, have you talked to the property managers? Are we a go for tomorrow? Oh, you mean the bird sanctuary? Yeah, no. You guys have so much clearance. We have multiple clearances. Literally the most clearance. Like a five-layer quesadilla dip of clearance. Okay, you thanks. You are in debt to me. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, totally not where it's changed. Okay, bye. We're all good, guys. The painter continues to paint. Yeah, we heard. Let's pack up the equipment. We roll at dusk. You know, you don't have to use Oxford words like dusk. Just say six or seven. But then you'd show up at 11. Settle next time? Okay, so a dull whisper on disembowelment? I don't know, that's somehow worse. Maybe I should take this one. This is where people eat. Hi, how are you? Hello, sir. Would you like to invest in a student from the Arbidale University? It's called The Conquest of the Squid Man. Hold on, kid. I'll be right with you. So you wanted two pounds of shrimp, calamari, okay? No, no, sir. Actually, that sounds fantastic, but we were talking about a student film. I, I think you're busy right now, so we'll just go. No, no, no. I can get you one pound of shrimp, calamari, fish. No, the movie's called... It's a moment! Blood! Blood! I am so sorry. It's okay, Martha. I'll protect you. That's what Ted said, and Joyce, and Jim, and Tim, and Carlos, but they're all dead. Hey, babe, it's gonna be okay. Here's looking at you, kid. Cut. That's from Casablanca. What did you call me? Just keep rolling. The camera's still on her face. Did you hear that? It sounds like suction cups on dry leaves. It's probably just the wind. No, but it's right over there. What's up, guys? Ah! Cut! Where the hell were you? I don't know. Someone came up, man. I got my priorities. I got a fam. Got my homies, my street hockey, my hoes. Wow. I'm unsure about this, but I believe hoes is a derogatory reference towards women. You're unsure, Mandy? Of course it's derogatory. Well, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt before I go accusing them of anything unjust. But he doesn't deserve the benefit of the doubt. He really doesn't. Don't get your hair all in a twist, ladies. My man Theo gets me. Are you kidding me? It's idiotic comments like that that contribute to the fact that only 2% of cinematographers in the 250 top films of 2014 were women. Everyone, calm down, okay? I doubt about the hose, and my name is Theodore, not Theo. But that's beside the point. Austin, let's take this from your line. That's beside the point? See, I'm not alone in my desire to treat everyone- Enough! Can we please get back to the movie? Hey guys, the clapper thing? I accidentally broke it while me and my homies were playing a savage prank on the Dean. But don't worry, I found an app for it. Careful. 
goes our poorly spent nineteen dollars. Can it? We are all professionals. Professional dumbass. Hey guys, it's downloaded. Sorry, what an area. It's kind of hard to get service. I think I used up my dad's data plan. Get in front of the camera now! Man, that was salty. The salt is real, guys. Saltier than the Dead Sea. Wait, what shot is this? Mark it! Action! It's probably just the wind. But it's right behind the... What are you kids doing here? This is private property. Who said you could be here? Run! Why, young dogs? Be one with the boot! I can't go back to jail! My parents won't pay bail! Sweet Jesus! Lump growing out of my neck? Your head. What? Nothing. Uh, I just. I just can identify it, Michaela. This could be something serious, like a blackhead or a freckle. What do you think it is? Is it noticeable? What's noticeable isn't the blackhead, it's the fact that you can't go 10 seconds without looking at yourself in the goddamn mirror. Uh, excuse me? Do you think that all this just happens overnight? I'll have you know it takes constant physical, emotional, and spiritual determination to get to where I am today. I can just roll out of bed and splash on a hint of some Old Spice, buddy. Do you have a problem with me? I have a problem with your attitude. Oh, if we didn't have to work on this movie together for the next few weeks, I'd swear. You do what? I'd do to your face the same thing that you did to my script. I'd screw it up so bad and you wouldn't even recognize it when I'm done with it. Oh, I'd like to see you try. Is that a challenge? Yes it is, little lady! Right here, right now! Go ahead, make my day! That's Clint Eastwood. That's Clint Eastwood, you rapid, shallow, selfish, egotistical little- Hey, hey, hey! Gentlemen. Lady. I do not appreciate you having a spat in a place of business. <sighs> now, if you two are quite finished, I'd like to conduct our affairs like civilized beings. Now, how may I assist you two this evening? I trust the production is going smoothly. Some, uh, how would you describe it, Mindy? Minor difficulties. Yes, right. Minor difficulties. Very minor difficulties. It's so minor, we really shouldn't be bothering you with the details. But you see. Um, well, uh, <laughs> long story short, um, we uh, went door to door uh, asking for money, like you said, and uh, we didn't exactly reach. Uh, a feasible goal. Yes, right, right. A, a, a feasible goal. So now we just need to raise a teeny tiny bit more, and we'd really appreciate it if you if you'd be so kind as to as to give us a little bit of a, a contribution. A contribution, so we can um f further uh, further proceed fur further proceed with our plans for this film, which um. Sure, you can see is a very understandable situation. <laughs> Do you know why 
I agreed to be a part of this production? Um, because Miss Applebaum put you in our group? No! It's because, just like you two and your ragtag group of juvenile delinquent friends, I too hope to gain something from this little pet project of yours. I thought we had an agreement on this. What are you two? A partnership. We could have done great things together. But alas, this relationship seems a little one-sided, wouldn't you say, guys? And I mean, I, I vouch for you guys. My hard-earned cash. <laughs> now that you're paying me, I'm squandering it. Now you come to here, my place of business, begging for more. Tell me, Austin, Francine. That's that sound right to you? Um, it's Michelle. <laughs> you want cash? Why don't you start a GoFundMe page? So you have to come crawling back for every single day. That worries your pretty little heads! Now leave. I must attend to my cactus. <laughs> Sorry for the intrusion, sir. You have a very lovely home. Who said it was my home? No. Guys, I'm, I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. I, I just... Or am I? Nah! Nah! Oh, you guys. You guys, I'm totally kidding. Look at your faces. Your little faces are so gullible. So gullible, man. But then again, how would you know? Have a nice night, kiddos. Don't get any funny ideas. Caroline always bailing on me. I can't make it today. My hair appointment got moved back an hour, and I have a nail appointment at three, and I hate the way your filmy lights wash out my face. I hate actors. All right, let's just get this over with. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer, the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep, no more. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sicklied o'er with the pale cast of thought, an enterprise of great pith and moment, with disregard their currents turn awry and lose in the name of action. That was beautiful! Jesus, Katie, when did you get here? Theo wanted me to ask you if you wanted more coffee. That was brilliant and incredible. I've never been a big fan of Hamlet. I've never been able to connect with him on an emotional level. He's always come off as kind of whiny and stupidly unmotivated. I mean, this guy just killed your father, dude. But the way you just did it, goosebumps. Legit goosebumps. I mean, I love the way you showed frustration and exhaustion, but still holding on to that grief. I've never seen such emotion in anyone's eyes. It was fantastic, fantastic. Um, thanks? So what's this for anyway? Oh God, Sarah, please don't tell me you're leaving Squidman to enter your own film. I know it's not coming out as good as we hoped, but I bet we can go reshoot the really bad scenes and it'll all come together in editing. And what's a horror movie without completing a score? <sighs> please. You're the most talented person in this project. Relax, okay? This is just a little project for my Shakespeare on screen class. We have to record a monologue and add elements of lights and b-roll to spice things up a bit. Cool! 
like that BBC video Benedict Cumber, whatever his name, did with all the world's a stage from As You Like It. Yeah, exactly. That video was excellent. I loved how they used the single light to illuminate his face, like a stage light, of course. But it's also supposed to show the simplicities of life. Like in the Shakespearean phrase, merely players, like the great tragedy in life is easy to understand. We all go through the same things, but we all have different stories. <sighs> Sorry, I'm totally geeking out. No, no, it's cool. I just didn't know you liked stuff like that. I always just figured you were the coffee person. No, I... <sighs> Why don't you not audition for the movie? I know you're a great director of photography, but... Acting's not really my thing. I don't really like being in front of the camera. I'm only doing this because my partner bailed on me. But you're so... It's not my thing, okay? Come on, we're filming a scene across town at noon. I can literally feel your talent radiating off the room. Drop it. Oh. Why are you filming me? Wait, wait, hold on. It's it's my good side now. He's coming for Steve. Steve tries to run, but oh no, the squid man is coming. He's too fast. He's coming for blood. This time it's personal. Hey man, you want some lunch? Yeah. No, no, no. Hannah's fine for the role. I've been through the whole shebang. I've known her for years. She is perfect for this role. Hannah's not even here right now. She probably won't even show up today. Hey, shut your mouth. But... She has her reasons. But if any roles show up, I highly suggest this specimen. Don't call me a specimen. Okay, well, this manifestation of talent, poise, and wonderfulness. I'm flattered, but that's worse. I believe it is pronounced specimen. They do in Prague. I don't know if you guys know this, but I spent a month and a half in Prague. We know! I want to punch you more. More than what? Great chat, you guys. You're really breaking down barriers. Or maybe building them? Where is she? We only have three hours of usable light till we have to scrap the shoot. Don't worry, Katie. Hannah will be here. Even I'm here before her. Hey, guys. Sorry, something came up. Hey, I missed my step-cousin's graduation for this, and I expect people to be on time. I wasn't gonna go, anyway. The little bastard's always stealing my... stuff. Do you own anything? Like shame, or pride, even a smidgen of pride? God, I can't say anything around here. This is censorship. Can you even spell censorship? C, E, N, S, uh, hold on. This is totally unrelated. O, R. I can't watch this. You, I need to talk to you. She's so unprofessional. I know, right?
Welcome to the slate, Tommy boy. Yeah, funny story. I deleted the app. One of my bros needed to download stuff on my phone. My data plan is like completely wiped out. Oh, but, uh... Look, it'll work perfectly. What are you gonna do about it, bro? Hey, I worked really hard on that. You've never worked on anything in your life. Guys, we're not cooperating here. Let's go to our quiet circles. Our synergy is clashing. And as Sensei Chelsea always tells me, we must separate our gears of anger and let them dry on the plains of peace. Michelle, are your gears drying? Again, it's still... Oh, wait. Sorry, never mind. It's just that it's been a while. And Theodore, you seem rather tense as well. Are your gears drying? I don't think they are. Come on, let's lighten your spiritual burden. No, Mandy, no. I will not lighten my spiritual burden. Or go into my quiet circle. Or let my gears dry. Go into your little planes of peace. Or any of that other bubbly crap you keep pestering us with. All right? Why are you here? Why are any of us here? This isn't what I envisioned. This entire production is just like a nightmare that you can never wake up from, repeating itself over and over. And I just can't take it anymore, all right? I just... Oh no, please, please don't cry. I'm sorry, okay? No, it's fine, it was my fault. I was just imposing on you guys. I was just being a burden. No, Mandy. You're just a- We're just a ray of sunshine, and we're all just bloodthirsty foemen scuttling back to You're our- You're not helping. Okay, guys, why doesn't everyone calm down? Why don't we scrap tonight's shoot? You all deserve a break. We'll come back tomorrow with fresh minds and pick up where we left off. Is that okay? What she said. Okay guys, this is the climax of the film. Mandy, you will enter from around the shack. There you will find Austin and Hannah crouching in the corner of the shack. Got it? Okie dokie, Artichoke. Austin. Austin. Are you ready? You only have enough money to shoot the scene twice. So do not improvise 
your lines. Do you understand? Aye, aye, Captain. Awesome. What if I feel like a line of dialogue isn't fit my character's motivation correctly? I can't portray my intuition as an actor. You have changes, run them past Kelly first. I thought it was Molly. I think it's Michaela? No, isn't it Stephanie? It's Michael. I mean, Michelle. Damn it. Calm down, Mikey. What about you? Are you ready? Yep. Excellent. All right, everyone, let's get the show going. Quiet on set. Uh, Tommy, do you have the app ready? I already got it open. Oh, wait. Hang on, it must have closed. Okay, here we go. It's loading. 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 I don't need every minute detail. Just tell me when it's open. Thank God. Fight on set. Game rolling. Audio rolling. Well, that's your cue. All oh, right. Scene 10, shot one, take one. That was actually right. Mark it. Action. Cut! I think that was actually good. It created suspense. I agree. You sit over there, or you won't cause trouble. Scene 10, shot 1, take 2. Action. I think we lost it, Martha. I don't know. I think I heard something coming from over there. There's something behind the tree. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Are you kidding me? You're ruining the take. Me? What about your Spielberg wannabe over here? That line's from Charles, you bumbling ignoramus. Bet he was never called that in Frog. I can't just interrupt a take like that. What, am I ruining your precious aesthetic? I think your aura might. All right, let's just all calm down. Let's join our hands and share our feelings. No, I've had it with the feelings, sir. Actually, it's a friendship. And the wrong name calling, and the butchering of my script. No, not even butchering, slaughtering, like a farmer with a poor piece of livestock. And don't even get me started on the producer. Camille, no, it's Michelle. It's always been Michelle, it will always be Michelle. Michelle, wait. Yeah. Wait, Michelle, hold Leave up. me alone. We can't lose you. It's turning out bad enough without losing our scriptwriter. Sorry, kid, but if I have to spend one more minute with those idiots, I swear I'm going to lose my mind. Well, what's left of it anyway? But... <sighs> Graveyard exterior. Night. Open on our hero, the brave. Intelligent, courageous, flawless, handsome. Interesting Jebediah, good script. Waiting quietly among the shadows for his moment to shine while his arch nemesis, the diabolical, yet so incompetent, Eastern European vagabond known only as Igor von Strokinov plots his dastardly deeds in the shadowy depths of a land called Prague. But wait, what's this? Our hero senses a new challenger approaching, known only by his subjects as the Grand Duchess Killjoy McNags a lot. This challenger is said to be the new leader of the knights of the boss around table. Huh. Boss around table. Where do I come up with this stuff? We need to talk. Nope. You need to talk. I need to write, so. What's this? These are the terms and conditions in your continued involvement in this production. I wrote them myself. I laid out the various pros and cons and why I think you should personally stay with this production and... Oh, no, 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 no. There's no way in hell I'm coming back to that freak show, alright? Not under any conditions. Not under any circumstances. Not under any... Number 12, page 2. But I told you what, just read it. And finally, under no circumstances will a single word be changed from the finished script. Unless given express permission by the scriptwriter herself. God, this font is nice. Just keep reading. And any and all violations of this clause will be found punishable by the immediate evacuation of the guilty party from the premises. So, what do you. 
Oh. Sorry, I was just listening to my last shred of respect for you. Spread its wings and fly gracefully out the window. It was quite beautiful. I thought I was gonna cry. Oh, God, Michelle, don't act so dramatic. It's not like I'm asking you to sell your soul or anything. Michelle? Michelle? What? That's your name, right? Yes, it is. And screw you for making me think otherwise. You really think I don't understand what you're going through here? Well, actually, I... Because I do. Believe me, I do. I know better than anyone what it's like to be bossed around, yelled at, taken advantage of, treated like dirt. I am a college intern for a film production company led by a pretentious tool bag who doesn't even know how to level a tripod correctly, let alone manage an entire film crew. I stand there with their $7 lattes while I watch Mr. Big Shot try to fix an XLR cable into a wall outlet. A freaking wall outlet! Some days I feel like the nanny at a daycare, but the only difference is the babies are supposed to be taking care of me. Are you hugging me? Yes, I am. Don't get used to it. See you tomorrow at 7? Sure, but if McStoner shows up at 11, the deal is off. I understand. Good. Glad we're on the same page. He said to me is here, at the corner of Canal and Stonehenge. I see Canal, but I don't see Stonehenge. I think he means those little rocks over there. Oh, God. Feels like a drug deal where something doesn't go right. I think Tommy Boy has experience with those. Fumbling for the drugs, saying, Sorry dudes, I meant 7, not 11. You rang? We need more money. No. What is it? I have a masquerade to attend to. We need more money. The GoFundMe page isn't working. Why did you set up a GoFundMe page? You weren't sick. You weren't homeless. You weren't useful. What? But you said we... I'm useful. I'm useful. <laughs> more money, more problems. What'd he say? I'm useful. Look at me! I'm useful, right? Tell me I'm useful! You're useful. Okay. I'm useful. I'm going to make myself useful. You guys, we really are like a family, no matter how much we fight. But we're like in most rooms, sitting and conversing, like a working little family. Maybe that's what the puppet master wants. Who are you talking to? Them. Hannah's been outside for a while. I bet she's on her phone. Oh, and now we've lost our director. I think he believed in himself. It's so deep. God, these are horrible. It hurts. It hurts my eyeballs. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, you know, the seeds could just be inflated white blood cells. You are too precious for this world. We will corrupt you soon. Alrighty. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, we need to talk. I know I've been covering. Look, just not right now. Yes, right now, because people are starting to ask questions and... I don't know what you're going home to. Okay, what do you need to talk about? There's not much to talk about. Just, how are you? Great. I've been just fantastic. You know that's not what I meant. I know that's not what you meant, but talking about it isn't going to make it any better. It's been pretty tame right now, and tampering with it isn't going to do any good. So, I've been moving on. I've been dealing fine with this. Are you? Because you were late to filming again yesterday. I'm starting to think this is getting in the way of your life, of what you enjoy. No, I think it's getting in the way of your life. No, that, that's not... Please, just stop. 
Okay, we're done. Let's just go back to watching the dailies. Bye. Okay, so everybody close your eyes and we're going to try to simulate the sound of a peaceful seaside town. Waking up at the crack of dawn and greeting the sun and the sky above as long lost friends. Now in this town, there isn't only one sound and one person, but it's filled with many people and their own thoughts and feelings and desires and dreams. Everyone here is heard. Everyone here is important and respected. Theodore, it is not too late to come join us. If you hear the call beckoning in your heart and soul, don't fight it. Answer the call, Theodore, and join us in the valley of love and acceptance. Well, I tried, Mandy, but the friendship circle hasn't been turning my calls lately. There is no sarcasm permitted around or in the friendship circle when the gears of tranquility are turning. I can't take this anymore. Hey, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I think you lost another day of shooting. We have time. No, we don't. Not if you want the scene to be, you know, visible. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought I was the director of this production, and not you. Yes, but... But what? Look, I think you should listen to what some of us have to say, okay? Some of us might have some good insight. Oh, yes, enlighten me, please. Share your endless knowledge of film and film production, and your experience carrying $7 iced coffees, and whatever the hell else you do around here! Okay, listen, Theodore, I might not have the best hands-on experience of this type of thing, but I know a train wreck when I see one, and I bet my life you know exactly who's causing it. This whole bloody crew knows exactly my face into the door this morning. Oh, silly me, always such a klutz. Can I talk to you for a minute? I don't know, shouldn't we get to filming? Okay, let's just take a second. But there's nothing to... No! Look, I thought you said everything was settled. You know. It is, I told you, I got this whole thing handled, okay? I can do things by myself, you know. Don't lie to me. You can lie to all the rest of them, but not to me, okay? Now tell me. How did you really get that? Same way I always do. Jesus. You know what? Maybe, maybe this whole thing wasn't such a good idea. What do you mean? I mean, maybe doing this movie wasn't such a good idea at this part of my life right now. We need you now more than ever. Can't you see that? Do you? Do you really? Because it seems like from my point of view, I'm driving your precious vision straight into the ground. It's not my vision anymore without you. I should have never dragged you into this. I'm sorry about that. But I think it's best for the both of us to do this, you know. Leave? Where would you go? Back to him? No, no, not back to him. I told you, I'm done with that. I just need to go back home for a little while. I need some space, all right? I won't let you. What? I said I won't let you. You can't walk out on us now. We're so close to the end. Someday you're going to realize, you know, that I'm not just another one of the characters in your stories. You can't change me like you can change them. Do you understand? Um, well, could you be a bit more specific? Goodbye, Theo. Hannah? Hannah, where are you going? I swear to God, if you leave now, you better not come back! Theodore, just so you know, there's an open spot in our friendship circle. The little camera guy just went off to tell grocery bags. Why is he so grumpy all of a sudden? All of a sudden? He's always grumpy. I don't know for sure, but the way Hannah just stormed off, I think she's off this project. That's terrible! We can't lose another member of her family. I say good riddance. She was horrible to work with. Always showing up late. You're one to talk. I'm flubbing her line. Guys, don't talk about her like that. We don't know her, and judging by the bruise on her eyes, something really bad is happening in her life right now. So I'm just like... You're all so eager to know, huh? Gossip, gossip, gossip. You never keep your noses your own damn business now, can you? No yelling in the friendship circle, Theodore. 
to hell with your friendship circle. In real life, isn't, everything isn't smiles and rainbows, Mandy. In real life, your friends can turn on you in a fraction of a second. In real life, your family can hurt you more than your worst enemies ever could. In real life, the people we care about most can hurt us or leave us or abandon us just as easily as they can make us feel loved or cared for or important. Face it, Mandy. In real life, the people we love end up hurting us the most. And no standing in circles or talking about our feelings or singing freaking Kumbaya is going to change that. Okay? Theodore, did something happen with... Yes, something happened! You all happened! You made her leave with your insensitive comments and your... And your... Theodore, we're sorry. I'm sorry I isn't your head now anymore, all right? Because now she's gone. I kept trying to tell you she was going through hard times. You people just didn't listen. You people never listened to me. You! You're our new lead actress. Me? But I don't know any of the lines. We film tomorrow at 9 a.m. You'll have plenty of time to learn the lines by then. Theodore, I think we should take a day or two before... You are not the director here, Catherine, all right? I am. But yes, but... Is that clear? <sighs> yes, sir. Good. Tomorrow, 9 a.m. sharp. I expect you all to be here. If not, never speak to me again. Getting my chakras in sync with this kinetic force we call life. They don't seem to like you. What? Why? I don't know. They seem to be disgusted with you and your synthetic cheese breath on an atomic level. Yeah, well, my chakras say your chakras look stupid. You are a remarkable specimen. Why are you here, oh lonely traveler? Well, I was supposed to meet one of my bros out here for a walk. Yeah, a nature walk. And where is this comrade and delinquency of yours? I don't know, man. He said he'd meet me here an hour ago, but... Does your thesaurus have a synonym for being stood up? What's a thesaurus? Ah, I'm beginning to see the problem. Whatever, dude. At least I'm not filming trees by myself in the woods. I was trying to find refuge from the chaos in the galaxy here. Fate has robbed me of this dream. Oh yeah? How's that? So your chakras wanted to look at a tree. Big whoop. Why film it? Why does the possum stand up on his hind legs? I don't know. Exactly. Yo, Broseph, where are you at? Beautiful, I started crying. And swimming came to me, he's like, why are you crying? All right, sir, let's have a go at it. Do you mind if I, uh, maybe this isn't a good idea. Guys, I know she built me up to be, what was it again? A beautiful yet chaotically wonderful mixture between Anne Bancroft and the warm and fuzzy yet mysterious charm of James I don't care if she's a mix between Mark Wahlberg and a half thing and Kevin Costner in general. She's all we got. Okay, can I take a peek at the lines again? <laughs> Amateur. Uh, sure. Mary, get her a script. Mary. You can yell Mary all you want, but you're beginning to sound crazy. For there is no Mary. But better crazy than stupid. Stupid enough to not remember my name. Michelle, will you please hand this miracle of acting a goddamn script? Hell yeah, I can, girl. Okay, I'm good. This is just a run through. We aren't filming. Just do the line when I say go. And go. Babe, I'm scared. I miss when things were less complicated. I miss when we could walk down these streets, reckless in our growing minds. Minds in the paradise of knowing so little about the world. The false sense of security. It was beautiful. It was all a beautiful lie. Real things are happening. Real people are disappearing, not only from our lives, but from the grid. And I feel powerless in the face of the ugly truth. And it is a monster. I miss it all so much. I miss when we couldn't see the monsters.
was godly, oh sweet heavens! By the way, Austin, you brought your line after she falls into your arms. Yeah, um, you know, after her delivery, I kind of felt like these lines needed a different flow. Oh, hell no! Oh, you, you need to chill, you need to chill! You... So, I can watch him do to my script what Paul McCartney in If Slaughterhouses Had Glass Walls did to my red meat and tank? No, no, just, just listen to him and maybe he was inspired by what she said. Fine. Uh, you need to sit down. Okay, Austin, are you ready? Any more prog stories you need to get off your chest? <laughs> well, actually... Um... Action. Babe, I'm scared. I miss when things were less complicated. I miss the times when we could walk down these streets, reckless in our growing minds. Minds in the paradise of knowing so little about the world. The false sense of security. It was beautiful. It was all a beautiful lie. Real things are happening. Real people are disappearing, not only from our lives, but from the grid. And I feel powerless in the face of this ugly truth. And it is a monster. I miss it all so much. I miss when we couldn't see the monsters. You know, if there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters, it's Ghostbusters. Come on, y'all know the song. If there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you gonna call? Uh, the Ghostbusters? The goddamn Ghostbusters, people, woo! Hey, hey, you promised, you signed, you agreed, now honor it, especially when we need you most. Has anyone seen Mr. High as a kite? Right here, dude. I'm not even gonna ask why you're late. Did you bring another slate? What's a slate? The one thing you are responsible for. Oh, the thingy. Nah, bro, I have better things to spend money on. And since it has such an easy job, I might as well do it. Efficiency, that's my motif. I question if you're using that word in the right context. Anyway, what is this efficient way? Out! Vermin, out! You murder of efficiency! You leak of unemployment! If your arms are the new slate, let me break them off! Someone who can do a simple job can use them to their full purpose! What are you doing? I'm done, kid. This is all pointless. Half my cast and crew are useless, and to continue would be hopeless. If you want to hold up the fort, be my guest. Hey, no, no, no! Where are you going, Miss Mason Bancroft? You're my rock. I'm going home. This was all a mistake. Look, if you're still kicking this dead horse around tomorrow, give me a call. I'll try to help in any way I can. Thanks. Forget it. Leaving, is she? No, but she's definitely not here. You guys all speak in riddles. What's the matter? stay here with her until this episode is over and I will advise her to go see someone until she gets back into the swing of things. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> okay. Are you sure that's safe? No, but either way, good production value. Moto taboos among horror movies come with grade A publicity. That's just lovely. What are we gonna do? That is the question to end all questions. Is it not? What are we humble mortals to do with this daring quest of life? Can it, Ralph Waldo Emerson? That's not an insult. Yes, it is. Guys, our family's falling apart. It's not falling apart. It's broken. It's gone. The 
foster home is burned down and people have already seen the ashes. These are morbid times. No, 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 we're fine. We're only three days from the film festival and half of our movie isn't even visible. Our director has abandoned us. Michelle is probably in the nut house and God knows where our lead actress is. Who's Michelle? Oh God, not you too. You guys are just such negative voices. Okay guys, let's put to a vote. Who's up for moving to Canada? Minimum wage is $20. Oh yeah, I hear Canada's nice this time of year. I bet with money like that we could buy Blake. Deep dog pineless speak to my soul. Guys, we need to focus. Don't you get it, guys? We're through. Let's just pack our bags now. I hear it's only a week to Bastille Day in Quebec. Maybe with Theodore gone, we can go ask John for more money so we don't have to go sell our souls. They were already sold. Guys, we can't give up now, not when we've gotten this close. Did Andre Rublev give up when his country was in the hands of his enemies? Did Billy Bowman give up when Hal was trying to take his ship? <sighs> Did Luke Skywalker give up when he was trying to destroy the Death Star? No! no! Then we have nothing to worry about it. To the producers! Grab a seat. <sighs> Boy, these uh, these chairs really slide you up, don't they? Uh. It was a joke. They're folding chairs. I was trying to add a moment of pleasure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want your pity chuckle. What is that? Why, who wants to know? CIA? FBI? Tell you Z16? No, 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 none of those. I mean, wait, what was that last one? Doesn't concern you. Now, to answer your last question, this case could contain a variety of things. And you can imagine. For instance, this case could contain a 4x5 also wood carving of a West African pygmy seal. Or, or, preliminary school diorama of the sinking of the Blessed Death Star. I don't even know what any of those words mean. Or maybe it contains half a million dollars in unmarked bills stolen from the Lithuanian government. Um, does it? You are the second last person. I would disclose that information to you. I'm not even going to ask. So, as we discussed on the phone, you came here to propose a raise in your budget, but my sources tell me that your little dog and pony show has taken a turn for the worse. Is that correct? Now tell me, why should I trust you, out of all people, with my hard-earned cash, when every other poor and unfortunate soul who's walked in here thus far is left by present, shall we say, unsatisfied? Well, about that, we were trying to do uh, hold, the... Uh, hold on a second, I need to take this. Hello? <laughs> Sorry, you were saying? Um, yeah, so I, I wanted to come tell you that even though we've lost a substantial amount of our crew recently, the movie's still very much so on schedule. We just need, um, we, we need a little, um... Alright, I'm just gonna lay it straight for you. We're screwed. We've got three days to the film festival, and we're dead broke. Most of our cast and crew have already left, and the rest are so fed up that they're seriously considering moving to Quebec. I know I don't always show up, but I've always wanted to make movies, ever since I was a little girl. I used to run around my house carrying a plastic little camera, pretending I was Steven freaking Spielberg. I look up at my bedroom ceiling, dreaming about the day when I can make one of those. With a real crew, and actors, and equipment, and lights. Well, maybe not lights yet, but that's besides the point. The time is now to make an opportunity to make an entire audience be inspired by something I made, me. That useless little intern who's always hiding in the corner, carrying around styrofoam cups and blueberry scones, and trying not to get anyone's way. Now to answer your question, Mr. Big Shot Producer, I think you should trust me with your hard-earned cash, because like it or not, you're part of this family too. This dysfunctional, mentally unstable, clown car of a family. Now I know you want to see this little dog and pony show come through in the end just as much as I do. Now, let me have a piece of our hard-earned cash, or so help me God, the conquest of the Splinwin will pale in comparison to the conquest of me. It's empty. 
Yes, keen observation there, good feel for us. Oh, I'm too confused to even ask who that is. Don't you know what's been going on here? Or do I have to spell it out for you? Oh, God. Has this been one of those everything you need to find inside you type feel? Because no. I don't want the feeling of satisfaction right now. You can't light a movie with the feeling of satisfaction. Hey, I'm John, right? There's this creepy guy outside who says he's the pizza man and has a pizza, and he's holding, what do you guys call it again? A meat cleaver. Right, a meat cleavus. Cleaver. Yeah, that. Oh, oh, uh, no need for alarm, folks. No need for alarm. Um, or as I was saying, the situation that allowed me to be the benefactor of your production has recently, let's say, been compromised. And because the situation has been compromised, well, you see... He is kicking down the door, like, really hard. Yeah, dude, this isn't funny anymore. Who is this guy? And because my situation has been recently compromised, the funds have been sufficiently depleted. They just got the first thingy off. Door handle. Right, I knew that. As I was saying. Maybe we should try to find a way to escape. I am in the witness protection program. The witness protection program. God, I can hardly get a word with you people. Okay, yeah, we should probably go. You're what? Attention, this is the police. Come out with your hands up. trouble. I'm not actually a college student. I just look very young for my age. By the way, with any of you with the early onset of crow's feet, I highly recommend Oil Olay. You look wonderful. You don't have crow's feet. Hence my promoting Oil Olay. Why are we talking about crow's feet when the police are outside and a man with a meat cleaver is trying to get in, while this sociopath is telling us that he's in the witness protection program? Sociopath is a weighty word that disorder characterized by the disregard for the feelings of others in the manipulative behavior that unchecked egocentricity is the ability to lie in order to achieve one's goals. I think, in actuality, we are dealing with a narcissist in this case. Oh my god, I don't care, I just want an explanation. Here, this is all I have left. Oh my god, this is... Not enough? The most money I've ever had in my life. Really? You have a live thing. This is a drop in the bucket compared to what I had in the past. Where did you get this? It was my job to raise money for the film. I did. However... What? I spent it on myself, all right? All on myself. I couldn't live the travel life of a college student anymore. Are you kidding me? I, mi I miss the nicer things in life, the things I had before this wretched turn of events. You guys, there's some really scary stuff happening outside. Can we hurry this up? What was your life like before? Who are you really? Who are any of us? Not, Not now. now! My real name's John. That, that, that part's true, uh, but I'm not a college student. I'm a 40-year-old retired hitman. What? Rest assured, I've changed my ways. I ratted out a few people I used to work for, and in return, the FBI placed me under the witness protection program. So that explains the man with the meat cleaver, but why are the police after you? I, well, it's hard to change your ways entirely. What do you mean? Oh, oh, you guys, I'm totally done with the violence. Not the violence, not the violence. It was the money, the power. I crave those things. See, I told you he's a narcissist. What got you into trouble with the police then? This movie! What? what? Once I got my hands on the money again, I... I remember what it was like to wear nice suits, to go to elegant restaurants. So yes, I raised your blasted money, and I spent it. 
on me. I'll say it again. No sis. Guys, I think you got the last thingy off. Hinge. Yeah, that. I think we should really try to find a way out. How are we going to do that, Mandy? There's no other way to get out. There's a secret exit behind that curtain. I've been waiting for this moment. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. No. You go on without me. There should be a square door behind that curtain. And behind that square door is a tunnel. That tunnel leads to the lobby. Say goodbye to Francois for me, the doorman, and ask him how his daughter Margot's tennis match went. And if anybody asks, I did not finish that Sudoku puzzle. Thank you for your contribution, sir. Um, you're welcome. This is Batwoman. Thank you for being a part of our family. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. Nice person who likes me is gonna find themselves buried alive in the Mongolian desert. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> Jonathan the Mad Dog Thomas, step out of the apartment now with your hands up. Okay, yeah, you people should do it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> I thought he was just disconnected from the world. He's just a special snowflake. Like one of the ones that are gray from industrial gases? We're all polluted snowflakes. Oh, shush you. He's not wrong. Well, he's not right either. God, you guys are so morbid. What are you looking up? The GoFundMe page. Maybe it's picked up more than just us. We all collect up. Don't. Ah, look who's back from Prague. Yeah, I came here to apologize. How did you know we were here? Manny texted me. Well, more like, sent me this big, long paragraph on my flaws and how some of them made me a better person. I don't know, it was fairly sappy. Hey! Sappy enough to deflate this giant dome hanging on my shoulders. So, I headed over here. Well, not before stopping by the producer's house to get some money to surprise you guys. Uh, by the way, has anybody heard from him? I mean, his place, or the place that he was staying, was totally trashed. It had the words, You can take my kidneys, but not my dignity, written all over the walls. Oh god, boy, do we have a story to tell you. Yeah, but before you do, I had to talk to Sarah. That performance was one of the most honest performances I've ever seen in my life. And I was stupid to think that I could even come in comparison to you. I'm sorry. Aw, and you didn't even rip that off from somewhere. Hey now. Guys, we have a donor. Fifteen dollars? Who's the donor? Someone with the name OG Nana at AOL.com. Aw, thanks, Grandma. What? My grandma has an AOL account. Don't judge. Fairly sure AOL is older than any of our grandmothers. Or oh, dead like mine. I'm so sorry, Floyd. What the hell? We had brunch with your grandmother last week. Dead to me. Alrighty, let's ignore the hint at family turmoil and focus on the big problem. Holy donations, Batman! $715? Who's the donor? The family Dane at hotmail.com. Wait a minute. I know that last name. That's Hannah's parents. Hells to the yeah. 
We could buy lights. <laughs> lights? Hell, we could buy someone else's movie and not have to do another damn thing. Now that wouldn't be the special thing to do. <laughs> no, you're right, Mandy. I was just kidding. Our fearless Lita slowly sips on her despicable cup of gel as she takes a much needed break from the chorus of bumbling superficial prog enthusiasts. But what is this? A rare sighting of the intern cleaning up everyone's dirty laundry per usual? I heard you were home. I thought we agreed I'd take some time off. Right, we did. But I thought I'd tell you we changed. New director, new rules. Who cares who the captain is as long as one of the shipmates is still mutinous? What? Our frog expert, Mr. Spotlight, the killer threats the insatiable R stand. I think I may need some more time off. Or maybe a better contract. Read page 23, paragraph 3. Really? Because this worked so well the first time. Just read it. And I, the unsigned, do declare that regardless of whatever artistic urges come over me at the time, I will regard the script with the sanctity of a religious doctrine, and thus will repeat every word that is written. You've got to tell me Francis is. I've been looking for this since the last time you showed me this crap. Just keep reading. Will you tell me what the font is? Yes, okay, I'll tell you what the freaking font is. And I, the unsigned, do solemnly state that if I violate any clause of this agreement, I will be escorted from the premises, because if this week has taught me anything, there are... Look underneath that. Whose excuse for signature is that? I know, right? It's just an, a bunch of loops in front of an A. I, I mean, it's Austin's. You would have thought they'd teach penmanship in frog. Austin signed this? Yeah, but we made him read all of it. Good. I don't want this to be some iTunes contract that you glance open to yes to. So you'll come back? Maybe on one condition. If you change the clause about what will happen to him if he defames my script from escorted from the premises to the script writer retains the right to throw any object she so chooses at the unsigned. I am not doing that. Why not? Really? I just brought this band of misfits back together and you want me to throw a pair of scissors into the tentative webbing? I never said it'd be scissors. Absolutely not! Fine. At least tell me what the font is. E.B. Garamond 2. So, 2 as in the number 2 or 2 as in Roman numerals? The Roman numeral. Awesome, thank you. Michelle? Will I see you tomorrow? I guess so. Why not, right? You guys have already taken my sanity. Why not take my pride as well? Two for one deal. It'll be better this time, I swear. As long as he behaves, I will. See you tomorrow at 9 a.m.? Go away now. I'm in the middle of a creative spot. Aw, our little Aaron Sorkin is busy at work. Suddenly, our hero finds herself armed with a new weapon. One less, perhaps, threatening than a sword, but ultimately more binding. Alright, everyone listen up. Today is the final day of shooting. After today, the conquest of the squid win will be over! Yeah! But I have to remind you that the submission deadline is midnight tonight. So factoring the rest of editing, special effects, score, sound design, and the ride back to the studio, I'd say we have about three hours to get this done right. Now, if we all work together as a team and no one goes completely off the reserve, we could actually do this. We could finish this thing and maybe, just maybe, not come in last place. Who's with me? Woo! Yeah! All right, let's move it! Move it! Move it! Move it! Move or lose it! Man your battle stations! Let's go! Go, 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 go! Hey. Hey, dude. I just wanted to apologize for everything. I know you pour your heart and soul into every page of the script and changing the words that you write doesn't improve my performance or clear up my motivation. It just changes what was already there. Wow, that was really mature of you to say, Austin. So what do you say? No hard feelings? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Ah, yes, Gone with the Wind. Classic reference, my friend. I'm going insane, I'm going insane. I'm going to get a madhouse and it's going to be a into my twisted imagination. Hey, we all go a little mad sometimes. Ah! You know, I think that girl's finally warming up to me. Uh, yeah. Sure thing, Ashley. Oh! Hey! It's Austin! 
Hey, wait! You know my name, right? Everyone knows my name. I'm the pretty one. Mandy, are you ready? Ready, Freddy. Roar! Perfect. Sarah, Austin, are you ready? I got the whole thing memorized this time. Ready as I'll ever be, Chief. Okay, everyone ready? Camera rolling. Audio rolling. Okay, scene one, shot one, take one. Mark it, Macau. Michelle! Oh, uh, okay. Action! Hollywood picture show. Oh god, I feel like Jean-Luc Godard. Is he from Prague? France. Well, you're getting there, buddy. Oh god, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I feel like I'm one of those 1970s parties, like with the, like the, with the dresses and the mountainous hairdos. Yeah, but with less cocaine. Considering half this movie was funded by drug money, you're not far off. Supposed drug money. It was a 60-40 split, so I guess we're legit. Yeah, don't forget Hannah's family's donations. Yeah, but where is she? Hey guys, what's up? Hey! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> guys, guys, you're suffocating me. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Thank you and your family for the donation. Yeah, I know you guys were struggling, so me and my parents decided to help you guys out a little bit. A little bit? <laughs> We live like a lonely puppy wandering in this misty city of black and white until you... Oh, I miss you too. Hey. Hey. Oh, look, our family's all back together. What about Tom? As I said, we're all here. Friendship circle. Don't ruin it. Shh. Our baby is staying in its first step. You did good, kid. You did good. Thanks. Are you crying? Yeah. Why? It's just my words on the big screen. Oh, so you decided to refilm the opening scene? Yeah, we decided you could see the scenes. Hmm. Corn syrup worked a lot better? He said it was corn syrup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're making a circle of friendship all by themselves. Shh! Shut up! We're trying to have a moment here. Cheese and crackers, some people are so rude. So, you think we got a shot? Not a chance of fresh hell. Well, it was worth it anyway. Yeah, guys, I'm pretty sure Austin needs his beauty sleep. You're not wrong. 
Guys, the movie's not over yet. What do you mean? I prepared for you a cinematic delicacy that will make you feel like your eyeballs are freezing with hypothermia of thematic excellence. Soy English cheese. Ugh. I prepared a movie for you guys. That's the fun I was talking about. Isn't it just so beautiful? Oh, this is nice. Why are you filming me? <laughs> Oh no, we can't lose another member of our family. What are you doing? Our family is not complete. 